Well, first of all, I don't even know if I got sound. I'm probably going to get trolled. But first of all, Ted, you sit on Battle Cam 24 hours a day, seven days a week, just like I do, just like everybody does. You don't have to be cammed up and logged in to be sitting on here. I have the fucking guts to cam up and be on fucking Battle Cam. You sit on here, your old fucking fat ass fucking piece of shit motherfucking dick can go fucking put it in a goddamn fucking razor blade fucking torture chamber. I don't give a fuck about you, Ted. You and Amy and Nancy Jane can all go fucking fly to California and have fucking fruit for dinner. I don't give a fuck. Alright? Seriously. I don't give a fuck, Ted. You sit in that goddamn recliner. You cam up. You think you're important. You're fucking nothing. You want to say I have fucking problems? I ain't got no fucking problems. You've got fucking problems, dude. You're the one that's 67 years old and can't get Nancy Jane to fuck your dick. That's a problem. Alright? Then you try to get her daughter. Her daughter, Amy, is sitting on the fucking back deck of her fucking house talking sweet nothings to you and y'all are sitting there fapping to each other. She's showing her you your her tits and I'm like, what the fuck's going on here? And I'm at her fucking house and you can tell I'm gonna tell you. As long as I don't say anything personal information, I can't get banned from Battle Can. But if you wanna fucking bring out my ugliness, I'll fucking tear you in the fucking two, motherfucker. Seriously, you ain't got nothing on me. And all these little fucking cunts in this fucking troll box right here, they can suck my fucking ass. None of these girls cam up, except Jess X Toro. I'll give her that. And the only reason Jess X Toro was fucking pissed off at me is because someone sent me a Skype of her sitting in Tommy's little fucking box going, ah! When she thought Tommy threw a 50-inch fucking TV out the fucking window for her, and it wasn't, it was a 50-inch fucking computer monitor, and he broke it with me. I called her out on it, and ever since then, she's been going off on the fucking hook, and the motherfucking bitch is bald-headed, anorexic looking, her shoulders look like they need to be busted in half and put back together, seriously. This fucking chick is absolutely dog butt fucking ugly, and if anybody would fuck her, they got to be goddamn desperate. And as far as all these cunts over here, I don't give a fuck, Ted. I don't give a fuck what you think. If I did give a fuck what you thought, I wouldn't fucking be here. Is it enough fuck, fuck, fuck for you? You want to call me abnormal? You're the one who sits on fucking Skype with Amy and Nancy Jane 24 hours a day, 7 days a week trying to get a fucking titty shot from Amy when she's on her fucking Xanax and wine. Not me. She'll give you what you want if you fucking work long enough for it. Seriously. I was fucking at their house. I watched what fucking Ted did with Amy. I watched what Ted did with Nancy Jane. I know the fucking story behind the story behind the story. This motherfucker is a goddamn fucking lying sack of shit. You want to fucking come at me, Ted? You better have more ammunition than Vicky's not normal. Because I've got even more where that came from. And I'll knock you into next fucking weekend with this shit, motherfucker. You old fart. You sit on your fucking little recliner and you sit there and blow farts and belch all fucking day. Because I ain't got no use for your fucking pathetic fucking worthless ass. You all come at me. Every motherfucker comes at me.